Hello everyone. You are watching Smart Study. I wish you are in the pink of your health. I hope you are staying home because this is the only way you can protect yourself and your family members from deadly coronavirus disease. It's time to get into the video. This is going to be my first MCQ video on science. If you haven't watched my MCQ videos of English NCERT, Honey Do You and It So Happen, you can gladly visit my channel. Now coming back to the point in this video I am going to discuss MCQs very important MCQs on a very important chapter cell Now let's begin our quiz session What is a cell Let's read out options and find out our answer largest unit of life smallest structural and functional unit of life block of stone or cell is a brick just like a building is made up of many bricks and brick is the smallest unit of a building Similarly all the living organisms are made up of cells and cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life you can also say cell is a basic living unit of an organism correct answer is option 2 now the next question is who discovered the cell options are robert hook robert brown camillo golgi and the last option is both option 1 and 2 cell was discovered by robert hook in the year 1665 he observed slices of cork under a simple microscope and he noticed honeycomb like structures which were separated from each other by the wall these honeycomb like structures were the cells another very important question which could pop up from this topic is who coined the term cell it was robert hook who not only discovered the cell but also coined the term cell second option robert brown was the discoverer of nucleus while camillo golgi was the discoverer of golgi body cell theory was given by which of the following scientists robert hook and robert brown schleden and shavan camillo golgi this time we don't have fourth option After discovery of cell some years later cell theory was presented by three scientists they gave detailed information about cell and two of those scientists who gave the cell theory were Schleden and Shavan option 2 is the right answer What are the two categories in which organisms are divided on the basis of cell number first option unicellular and multicellular second prokaryotes and eukaryotes third plants and animals fourth none of these on the basis of the number of cells organisms can be divided into two categories unicellular and multicellular organism unicellular organism comprises of only one cell that's why it is also called single celled organism while on the other hand multicellular organisms are made up of more than one cell or many cells on the basis of cell number organisms are divided into unicellular and multicellular organisms option 1 is the right answer unicellular organisms are made of first option only one cell second many cells third more than one cell fourth both two and three In the last question itself we discussed that unicellular organisms are also called single celled organisms because they are made up of only one cell. Examples of unicellular organisms are first option amoeba and paramecium, second plants and animals, third ostrich egg and white blood cells. fourth amoeba and plants examples of unicellular organisms which are given in your ncert textbook are amoeba and paramecium along with them euglena is another very important example plants and animals are multicellular organisms they are made of multiple cells options with plants are wrong correct answer of this question will be option 1 Recognize the organism A and B given in the picture. According to first option, A is plant cell, while B is animal cell. Second option, A is cheek cell, B is onion cell. Third option, A is paramecium and B is amoeba. And fourth option, A is amoeba and B is paramecium. If you look at the organism A, it has an irregular shape, while organism B resembles slipper. Hope these hints worked for you. Organism A is amoeba. It is known for its irregular shape. 
wild organism B is Paramecium, which is famous for its slipper-like shape. Next question, which is again about amoeba. How does amoeba capture food? With the help of mouth, with hands, with the help of pseudopodia, or both option 1 and 2. That is with the help of mouth and with hands. Amoeba captures food with the help of pseudopodia. What is the meaning of pseudopodia? First, pseudo means many, while podia means legs. Second, pseudo means false, podia means feet. Third, pseudo means absent, podia means legs. And fourth, none of these. Pseudopodia are the false feet. Correct answer is option two. Pseudo means false, while podia means feet. Further details about pseudopodia is given in the next question. Now here is the question. What are the functions of pseudopodia? First, locomotion. Locomotion means movement. Second, ingestion or engulfing of food, which means capturing of food. Third, respiration. And fourth, both one and two. Amoeba is known for changing its shape from time to time. It has an irregular shape. Moreover, pseudopodia helps in movement and capturing of food. Both the options, locomotion and ingestion or engulfing of food are given on option 4. So, option number 4 will be correct answer. What is a common characteristic between amoeba and white blood cell? First option, both have pseudopodia. Second, both can change their shapes. Third, both of them have same shape. Fourth, nothing is common. I have already told you in the previous questions that amoeba has the ability to change its shape. And the change in shape is caused due to the formation of pseudopodia. And the ability to change its shape is also possessed by white blood cells. And this characteristic is common in both amoeba and white blood cells. Example of a single cell which can be seen through unaided eye. Unaided eye means naked eye or without microscope. First option is red blood cell. Second, white blood cell. Third, egg of an ostrich. Size of cell in living organism is extremely small. Say for example, as small as micrometers. These organisms with size in micrometers or microns, they cannot be seen through unaided eyes, but can only be observed under microscope. Exceptions are always there. There is a cell which can be seen without microscope. Example of such cell is egg of an ostrich. Multicellular organisms are made up of only one cell, made up of more than one cell, third, made of many cells, fourth, both two and three. As the name implies, multicellular organisms are those organisms which are made up of more than one cell. And we can also say they are made up of many cells. You must have got your answer. Yes, option 4 is the right answer. Now the next question on the list is, which of these is not a multicellular organism? Always read questions twice. In this you have to tell which of these is not a multicellular organism. Options are plants, animals, euglena and birds. Plants, animals and birds are multicellular organisms because they are made up of many cells. While euglena is a unicellular organism, which I already told you in one of the previous questions. Along with euglena, amoeba and paramecium are also unicellular organisms. These examples are extremely important for you to keep in mind. Generally, shape of cells found in our body are round, spherical and elongated. Second triangular, third circular, fourth square. It is clearly mentioned in your NCRT textbook that shape of cells are generally round, spherical and elongated. So we'll go with the first option. Next question is also based on the shape of cells. Which of these is a branched cell? First option muscle cell, second nerve cell, third red blood cell, fourth white blood cell. White blood cells tend to change its shape and this characteristic is also possessed by amoeba. Now let me explain the first three options diagrammatically. As you can see in the picture of nerve cells, it is long and branched. Nerve cells have thread-like structures. 
Coming on to muscle cells, it is spindle shaped. It can also be termed as elongated shape. Now the red blood cell is spherical or round in shape. Observe the pictures of these cells properly so that you don't find it difficult to understand and learn the shapes of cells. Let's go back to our question. Which one of these is a branched cell? You must have got your answer now. Yes, it is nerve cell. Size of elephant cell is bigger than the size of rat cell. Now let's have a look on the given options. First option says it is true to say that size of elephant cell is bigger than the size of rat cell. It is because elephant is bigger than rat. But according to the second option, it is false. Because size of cell has no relation with the size of the organism. Third option, can't say. Fourth option, it has not been identified. Actually, the size of cell doesn't depend on the size of the organism. Cell size has nothing to do with the size of an organism. Whether it is the cell of an organism, as big as an elephant, or as small as a rat, due to all these reasons, we will go with the second option. In this video, I have covered MCQs on the topics Discovery of Cell, Cell Number, Shape and Size. Second part of this video will consist of MCQs on the topics Parts of Cell, Cell Organelles, and comparison of plant and animal cells. I hope you were able to learn something from this video. And if you really did, please hit the like button. I get an ocean of energy and motivation when I read your lovely comments in the comment section. So stay close and stay connected with me. Keep watching and keep sharing my videos. Bye-bye.